future, a Mercedes-Benz V-Class will be available with fuel cell drive technology. The complete fuel cell system in this vehicle is located in the underbody. This means that the driver still has the same amount of space as before. When the system is activated, an impulse is relayed to the central control unit. The gas valves in the hydrogen tanks are opened and the compressor takes in ambient air. The fuel cell begins to operate. The vehicle is ready to go. The ambient air is filtered and then conditioned for the fuel cell. The same thing occurs with the hydrogen gas. The functional principle of a fuel cell is simple. A controlled electrochemical reaction between the hydrogen and oxygen takes place. This produces electrical energy and heat. A membrane inside the fuel cell separates the two gases. Only the protons of the hydrogen atoms can pass through it. The released electrons branch off and the resulting electrical current drives the vehicle. The protons and the electrons react with the oxygen atoms to form H2O, better known as water. When the driver accelerates, the compressor increases the air supply and the valves which control the amount of hydrogen automatically regulate it. As the amount of electricity produced increases, all the more electrical current is supplied to the vehicle's electric motor. An increase in electrical current also increases the performance. The electric motor transfers its driving power directly to the wheels through fixed ratio gears. The fuel cell system charges the battery depending on the specific charge level. The same occurs with braking, with the engine functioning like a generator which produces an electrical current. The energy stored in the battery supports the driving dynamics during acceleration and is used for starting the fuel cell system. A fuel cell car is refueled in a similar way to a combustion engine vehicle, only the nozzle looks different. The reason for this is the high pressure, up to 10,000 psi, by which the hydrogen is spilled into the tank. The vehicle's H2 tanks hold enough compressed hydrogen to enable driving of up to almost 250 miles. They're made of aluminium and lined with carbon fiber to withstand the high pressure. The interior pressure valves ensure a maximum of safety in the case of an accident because they cannot be torn off. An electrical current is created in the fuel cell along with heat and steam. This leads the vehicle through the exhaust pipe. This is a clean process and makes the S-Cell a truly zero-emission vehicle. 